Question 12. In the following diagram, AE and BD are straight lines and lengths BC and CE are the same length. And that's shown by these two little perpendicular lines here. Uh, in diagrams, say there's a diagram like that with a triangle, these little perpendicular lines just show that they're the same length. Um, sometimes if there's lots of lines going on, you could have a length like that and that and then just sort of where the pattern matches up that's that just shows that the two corresponding lengths are the same so that's all those little perpendicular lines mean is it possible to conclude that triangles ABC and DEC are congruent you must show all your working and explain your decision so firstly congruent means uh, two shapes are just the same shape and size regardless of orientation. Um, so more specifically with triangles we have some rules here and basically if we have one of these rules that are true then we can say that the two triangles are the exact same regardless of their orientation and orientation just means sort of which way up they are. So rule one all sides are the same length so let's say we've got two triangles here um, a, B, C and A, B, C and we're saying length A is the same as this length A over here and length B is the same as this and C the same as this. Regardless which way up it is, which way its orientation is, these two triangles are the exact same. So that's rule one. Rule two, we're saying two angles and the respective side are the same and this is just an extension, uh, a more powerful extension of the angle side angle rule. So we're saying if this angle followed by this angle and this length correspond in the exact same way to another triangle where this angle is the same as this angle and this angle was the same as this angle and this length was the same as this length in the same order so it goes alpha theta length alpha theta length then these two triangles are the same and the less powerful version of this rule is the angle side angle where we say that the order is um, angle side angle whereas this is more powerful because we can just say here it could well be um, two angles and a respective side so it could well be this angle this angle and this side or this angle this angle and this side which is just this rule here so that's the second one the third rule side angle side so if we say this side this uh, angle and this side matches up with a triangle where we have this side of the same length followed by this angle which is in this case to the right of the first length and then lastly this side if they're all the same then these two triangles are the same they're congruent and then we have this special kind of special case just because it's a right angle triangle where the uh, hypotenuse and then the other side so I hope that's clear enough uh, those are the four rules for congruence and if we again if we have any one of these four rules we can say that the triangles are congruent so I'll just go back to the question now and I hope you've spotted which rule we can use in this question. If you haven't, don't worry, I'll go through it now. So firstly, we can see that this angle must be the same. This must be 83 degrees and that's by the alternate angles or so-called X angles. It's the same, um, same thing, just different names. So this angle is also 83 degrees. We're told that ABC and DEC are triangles, so we can solve these missing angles here. So if we have 180 degrees, which we know is the sum of all internal angles in a triangle, minus 83 degrees, minus 32 degrees, we can work out this missing angle. So I'm just going to do this quickly. I'm borrowing the 1 here, so 10 minus 3 minus 2 is 5. 7 minus 8, I need to borrow this one, so this goes to 0. 17 minus 8 is 9, minus 3 is 6, so this angle is 65. And what I would do here is just do a double check, so I'll just add these up quickly. So 65, 32, 83, just to make sure I've not made any silly mistakes. So that's 5 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1. 6, 3 is 9, plus 8 is 17 add the 1 is 18, so 180 degrees. So yep, that is 65 degrees. We have 65 degrees here, we have 83. 
so we know that this missing angle must be 32. Same logic, just 180 minus 65 minus 83 is 32, but we can just quickly look across and see that these two are the same, so this must also be 32. So we have an angle here, we have a side, and we also have another angle for triangle ABC. For triangle DEC, we have an angle, 83 degrees, the same as this one. We have a side of the same length, and we know that from the question, BC equals CE, and also this gives it away with a little perpendicular line. And we have another angle, 32 degrees. So I'll just write that down, angle, side, angle. Ah, now this was rule number two. If I just go across, angle, side, angle, which was the special case of angle, angle, side. So that was rule two. So there we go. We know they're congruent due to angle, side, angle. All we need to do now is just put this into words and um, explain our thinking. So I'll just do that now. And this is often quite a difficult thing to do with these questions. So I'll just... I'll just sort of help you along with this. So I would start off by saying by alternate angles, also known as X angles, but I like to use the proper name, by alternate angles, angle A, C, B, which is this one here, A, C, B. Remember, this means angle A, C, B, it's the middle one, that is the angle we're interested in. And angle ACB equals angle DCE. And that equals 83 degrees, because this is so-called X angles, which means this angle here would be the same as this angle here, which is also this, um, and this angle here is the same as this angle here. So angle ACB equals angle DCE equals 83 degrees. And we know that the sum of internal angles of a triangle equals 180 degrees. So, angle A, B, C equals 32 degrees. Remember, we were just said 180 degrees minus 65 minus 83 equals 32, which was this angle here. And we know that length B, C and length C, E are the same. So I'll just say also sorry I've just realized I missed a step here. So we need to say that angle ABC is the same as angle DEC. So we know angle ABC equals 32 degrees which equals angle DEC which was just given from the question. Now I'll go on to say that we know length lengths rather B C equals C E. So by the angle side angle or A S A rule the two triangles A, B, C and D, E, C are congruent. Because we've shown these angles are the same, this length are the same, and these angles are the same. Angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. 
So that's question 12. I hope that's helped. If it has, please, um, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. If it's not quite clear enough, uh, please just leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer it best I can in the comments and if not I'll uh, remake the video. I might go back over these rules and just make those a little bit more clearer in a different video. But I hope that's helped and thanks a lot for watching.